Hey everyone, I'm Fox with Foxio Games, and this is Hard Reset for the PC, also available on the PS4 and Xbox One. This game certainly isn't new, having been released back in 2011, but I often wait for huge sales to buy my games. I bumped into the game on Steam sales and thought it looked pretty fun, so I picked it up for $2.99. The reviews for the game were overwhelmingly positive, and people were praising it for being a more traditional retro-style first-person shooter that doesn't try to be more than it needs to. So let's start with the PC port analysis. Hard Reset feels right at home on the PC, with a menu that can be fully and easily navigated by mouse and keyboard. Graphics options include a field of view slider, gamma control, windowed or full screen mode, an option to choose your graphics chipset, refresh rates up to 144Hz, resolutions that went up to my max of 1080p, stereoscopic 3D support, V-Sync with triple buffering option, a couple anti-aliasing settings, and individual controls for texture quality, anisotropic filtering, shadows, post-processing, particles, physics, and debris. There are plenty of graphics options here, although I would have liked a borderless windowed mode. You have volume sliders, but you can only separately control the music and cutscene volumes. No options to mess with voice and sound effect volumes. Key rebinding is available if you don't like the default setup, and the game offers aim assist for those that want it. You can play with either the mouse and keyboard or a controller. I tested the Xbox 360 and Xbox One controllers, and both worked great. However, when playing a first-person shooter on the PC, it's just unthinkable not to use the mouse and keyboard. Performance is stellar. At all settings nearly maxed out, my game remained well over 100 frames per second even during intensive battles. If you have any performance issues, there are plenty of options to disable here to get this to work on your system. Overall, it's a solid PC title and feels native to the platform. The graphics in Hard Reset don't push any boundaries, and many lower resolution textures abound. In some ways, it feels like an HD remake of an older title. Regardless, I really didn't notice the texture problem that much. I was busy pushing through the game and watching all the awesome explosions and visual effects dancing around on my screen. It has a pretty cool, if not mostly generic, sci-fi aesthetic as well. You should come into this game expecting it to have a simpler, old-school look and feel, and that it does. The world design and textures often invoke memories of playing Half-Life 2, although in actuality Hard Reset looks far better than the now ancient Valve title. What really steals the show here are the effects. Whether it's the exploding barrels and tanks, the electricity sparking off of numerous objects, or the numerous pieces of defeated mechanical enemies falling all over the place, the effects in this game look and feel amazing. The weapons don't pack as much punch as modern games that emphasize recoil and realism, but this helps to cement that retro-style feeling. You will have a blast blowing up everything in sight and watching fiery explosions, dancing electricity, and countless chunks of metal flying through the air all around you. The rain and water effects are surprisingly good as well, a visual treat I was not expecting. Unfortunately, all of these amazing effects can sometimes stack on top of each other and obscure your view. I frequently found myself getting hit by enemies who have no trouble targeting me through all the mess of explosions, debris, and electricity. And as a human being and not a computer-controlled character, I of course can't see during these segments and sometimes end up just shooting blindly and hoping the enemies are still where I last saw them. While not the best looking game by any stretch, Heart Reset is a visual joy and harkens back to the old days of first person shooters on the PC. While the music is mostly atmospheric and nothing terribly special, the sound effects are a different story entirely. In conjunction with the amazing visual effects are the incredibly powerful and visceral sounds of explosions, electricity, metal chunks bouncing off metal surfaces, and the bleeps and bloops of electronic enemies in the distance. These effects pack a powerful and audible punch and really help to draw you into the traditional first-person shooter action that Hard Reset tries to recapture. At times, the cacophony of sounds can become overwhelming, and you may find yourself turning down the in-game volume to ease the intensity on your ears. The default audio levels for the game were exceptionally loud on my system and required just a bit of tweaking to bring them down to a more reasonable level. The voice work in the game is totally passable and doesn't really draw any attention from being exceptionally good nor particularly bad. I would say it's above average overall, but nothing special. You might expect Hard Reset to have little if any story, but you'd be wrong. While I wouldn't call it particularly interesting or unique, Hard Reset reveals a first-person shooter quality plot through comic book style exposition in between levels as well as various little tidbits of spoken dialogue during gameplay. I'm going to be honest with you and just admit that I started skipping the story segments early on. While Hard Reset has more of a story than you might expect, it's pretty mediocre and mostly just serves as a setting in which to serve you the gameplay. And speaking of gameplay, how is it? Well, it's spectacular old school first person shooting at its best. This is very much an homage to the games you used to play back in the later 90s and early 2000s. Basically, circle strafing while holding down the attack button to unleash a barrage of projectiles against enemies that often feel like bullet sponges. Hard Reset teaches you early on to stay on the move during combat, since sitting still is a quick and easy way to get killed. Move and shoot, move and shoot. You can sprint for short periods of time, which is incredibly useful for dodging faster enemies. 
You have a recharging shield and your health is measured by percentage. Health is restored the same way as your ammunition by picking up items dropped by enemies or spread throughout the game world. Upgrade points can be gained the same way. There are tons of secret areas and hidden goodies to grab, and even after extensive exploration, I barely managed to get half of the secrets in the second level. Unlike its predecessors from the past, Hard Reset features a modern upgrade system. Upgrades can be made at one of numerous little upgrade stations spread throughout the world. These upgrades allow you to improve or expand the functionality of your two guns, the assault rifle and the energy weapon. Each weapon can have several forms, such as the assault rifle converting to a shotgun or grenade launcher, or the energy weapon unleashing beams of electricity instead of the usual blasts. You can also upgrade your character in other ways, such as making item drops give you more ammunition, or enhancing your perception of enemies around you. The level-based design of the game is just as retro as the main objectives you're tasked with. Essentially, you constantly run into obstacles and then must find the solution to eliminate the obstacle. While you don't collect key cards per se, you're often disabling or enabling power sources to get past barriers or through doors. This format will start to feel a bit familiar before you finish the 5-7 to seven hour campaign, but it never became tiresome for me. Expect a retro-styled experience with a modern flair and you should not be disappointed. So what's the verdict? Well, for the full price of $14.99 and the sale price I got it at of $2.99, I can't argue with Hard Reset's value. You might not get a lot of replay value out of this title, but if you pick it up on sale, it's definitely going to be an awesome experience on the cheap. Hard Reset was just the simple, easy to play game that I needed to remind me of the not so good, good old days of first person shooters, if that makes any sense. At any rate, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, and check the video description for links to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch.tv, where I sometimes live stream. I also have a Patreon account for those who like to give money to people they don't know on the internet. As always, I'm Fox with Foxio Games, and I'll see you around.